Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll look how to create a cycle of animation. So what is meaning by cycle? It so it can loop, it's mean beginning of the um, your clouds, water or anything will be exactly the same as the end of your animation. So you can actually loop it or cycle your animation. To do this, we will go inside the um, function editor. And what I want to do, I want to show you some principles what we're going to do with uh, um, this animation and hopefully you will explore and um, kind of continue developing on your own. Okay, so let's do some as example and right here I created a base. You can do any other object, it's a base doesn't important all what I want to do. It's have a place where I can observe um, different type of um, color for example. So we'll go to cube, open material editor, and I'm going ahead and loaded the rainbow so I can preview all different colors. Right now, our rainbow set on a middle point. So we'll go to edit function and inside function editor, we'll start modifying. The one thing, what I want to do, it's delete it. We'll leave filter here. And let's just create a couple of the, um, noise it doesn't matter which one we're creating the couple things you notice when we created the ball look is exactly the same so the both identical on you the properties let's um, destroy this filter let's go create a blender okay and now if we connect to um, one of our noise you can notice we have a uh, change colors so also inside the noise, we can um, go ahead and connect the scale, just example, to the timeline. Okay, on this case, right now it's a zero. And if we go ahead and just as example, add timeline, let's add keyframe. And right here, you notice I said by the time, so right click and you can notice my um, time it's set by the uh, minute. So I'm going ahead, a second, sorry, going move towards the three seconds. And I will add another key frame. Okay, um, by observing how the change in our preview window, you can see how with the time, we have a change our no, it's because we actually work on a scale, we connect it to the scale. All what we did, we connect our scale to the timeline. So when timeline produced from 0, 0 0.1 and up to 3, so our scale is going up to 3. It will be equal if we're going, um, let's go to the beginning, if we're going inside the function and we'll be modifying here, for example, from 0 and we're going up to 3. So that's all what we do right here by connecting this to the timeline. Let's go change this to um, some simple, um, the pro noise, simple fractal. And you know what? I'll just want to copy this. The reason why I'm switching to fractal, now we have it more options that we can modify it. And so we have it more control. The one thing what is happening when we start modifying based on a time, it is um, some control maybe we don't want to create from zero or one or whatever. And best way to attach them to the time if we want have it related, it's by using map. So we'll just create a filter and we'll switch filter to the uh, map. And a map what allowed us its input range, input, ra um, input range for lower and highest, and output range. So, for example, if our time starts from zero and going up to three seconds, so we'll set from zero to three. This is what we're accepting from our timeline. Next, we will map it those values to what we want to change. An example, let's say on larger features, I want to modify it, and I want them change from maybe five and up to 10 as example. So we'll go right here and we'll set our lower value five and our highest value 10. So in this case, on every time from every step is changing in a timeline, 
value will be passed to our map and it will be mapped those values to values I want to receive. So we'll never receive below 5 or never receive above the 10. Let's go right now and change this to the features. Normal. I just select it and reconnect and we can destroy this one. So at this point, if we go ahead and we'll monitor, you can notice right here, our, our colors is changing depending on our values. And we're going up. Here's what's happening. If you look on our end frame and we look on our front beginning frame, they are two different. So if we want to cycle our colors in this case, it won't work because the colors is different. And the reason is why? Because our value, you remember, large features is changed because we change in time. Um, so as we'll apply to the clouds and water when we look in a second, I just want to show you right at the second, it is principle what we're going to do. If you remember, we beginning with a value of the five. So let's go to one, we save it and we save large to five. So those identical. Now what I want to do, I want on the end, on the third second, I want my largest value will be equal as a beginning to five. So actually I want to do five, going five um, up to 10 and come back to five. So we'll look exactly the same, so make kind of cycle. To do this, we'll actually, we'll use the blender. So let's, let me see. If we connect both of them together and we'll say our blender to zero now we have it all values from um, our first noise and that is look okay so let's go back to the beginning right here now when i'm starting i'm changing changing my value you'll notice how it's changing going up and now i'm up to three it's changed but what i want to do in this time i want my blender to be all the way to my first nodes. So in that case, we'll go in the beginning how it was before. Again, let's go as example. Let's go right here, switch to zero. And this is how it was on the beginning. So we want assign our blender need be modify and switch between state when it's come closer to our time. So it's meaning we need to take our ratio and connect to the timeline. The problem is connecting directly to the timeline, the time going from zero to three, and we expecting value from zero to one. So again, we'll just go ahead and insert another map here. And inside map, we can again zero three and value output from zero to one. So in that case, what's happening right now, if we preview, you will notice we have it beginning. You notice in a preview windows how our texture is modified because we're changing but when we come closer now to the end it's going back to our original state so here's our last frame and you can see state um, colors and they will be exactly the same if we're going on a first state and look right here because our blender is a switching based on the our map and a time so again what we done we change the time based on our pearl noise and this is changed based on a time and a blender which is controlled from first state which we kind of almost have a snapshot in this one again um, and we switching from our dynamic state to our original state which is static still be kind of snapshot on the beginning and we're using a blender so this is actually a very simple um, techniques as long as you understand how in function that will work. A couple, um, before we continue working with some other stuff, couple notes. If you, one thing you will notice in a blender, again, if we look right here, it's from zero and three. So at a 1.5, if we have it right here on our frame, 1.5, that is will be middle point. So when um, these two nodes start mixing between each other. So if you, for example, want to um, effect a little bit different, you will need to work a little bit more with the mapping on your blender. So you can um, work a little bit more with the lower or upper values. Um, extend the name so it's mapped a little bit different. If you want to give it extra um, 
kind of time so when you come closer to this edge for example we can go on mapping and just as i want mapping from minus one so in that case um, it will be if you notice right here we have it changing right now here we have it our map original set from zero that uh, changing a little bit more stretching towards the end so by modifying your map you can kind of scale um ways will be more of the changing happening so you can push more towards the end or your final state and move it your middle points more towards the end okay so this is one way um let's look a couple other things for example if we go ahead and um instead this node will create open ocean okay we'll go delete those nodes copy paste this node we'll delete it so what's happening with open ocean at this point they're both connected to the time and if we just disconnect it it won't work exactly right um, what we want to do we want to create for this node constant we want to switch this to the constant number leave it number as a zero and connect now um, to your constant number and the reason why because our time became with zero seconds and at this point so they look exactly the same okay and in this case we don't need to worry about mapping because it will take not take by itself but you will notice also how it will change in a time so if we go in the beginning we have it one and if we're going on the end we'll have it same way to look um our nodes will look same and again right here you can see how they change in the colors of course um, if you do any modification on the uh, features larger or whatever I um, strongly recommend instead modifying them at ball from the beginning you can anytime create constant number take the for example let's say we want to chop this and we'll just connect this here Okay, we can leave it both that way and same we'll just both connect them to same node so in that case if we do any modifications it will affect um, both nodes at same time okay, again right here you can see by the color we have it uh, distribution this way we go in the middle it's changing it's all changing same and we'll go to the end and the end of the frame look exactly the same as beginning on a friend frame so we're actually cycling our um on this case our waves so right here is a render of um what we done transition with the blending and you can see we're actually going from beginning and end up with same but couple problems only when you do with moving animations not with just the colors um, you can notice right here as blending because it's a one is animated movements per time and another don't you won't have this problem when you work with the colors what we did before with something that not moving but with the moving clouds or um, currently in water we have this effect so we need to do a little bit more advanced editing to modify this moving so and to do this let's go inside our material function editor and right here in function editor we need actually animate this constant and if we're doing just connect to our timeline okay let me select right here that will be synchronizing them animations we need it actually set offset on a time for our animation so in a time when we achieve end of this three seconds animation here we start at same position on three seconds so to do this we'll go ahead and add um offset and because our animation is three seconds we need set to minus three on that case um when we start animation our beginning point and our end will still be exactly the same only now our blending between those two happen with the actual uh, um, 
motion. So let me show you an example. So right here you can see we have this blending and it happen on the end right here start blending in but because we now have a time and moments on our ocean now we have it beginning and end and we have it same animations it's have a little bit flickering but it's when um animation reloaded inside the cycling in our player but actually if you go frame by frame you can see it's total cycled um animations for um our water so if we have it, our water motion it will be this way uh, same way it will be applied to the atmosphere clouds or any other animation as well okay so for example with the atmosphere and the sky clouds uh, you can use it similar techniques and actually you can make it quite a bit advanced um, i saw some algorithms they have it quite a bit intensive but you can do from simple one to very complex but overall it will be very similar to idea or um, kind of technology uh, tricks you will use as well so for example here spectral and we have it here offset with each is from 0 3 3 um, what we want to do we want to add probably blender right here and in blender we want to um, change offset from 0 3 3 to maybe Okay, something else but let's do one constant create right now we'll go to number and we'll switch to 0 0.33 so it's kind of original offset okay well so let's uh, copy paste okay, actually you know what instead of this let's just copy everything Okay, so all what we do, we'll just duplicate it exactly the same node. Only here, instead going to any values that we can, we just go ahead and take our offset and modify our offset we want it. And the same way, we go ahead and add a map. And our map, we go set lower value from 0 till 3 and our lower value 0 0.33 and our highest value maybe 0 0.6 okay it will do for our offset for our map this one is still be same and same things we'll take our blender connect to the time and we'll add as well a map to this and we'll just go ahead set our map from 0 to 3 and right here from 0 to 1 just as example so you can observe the same way how the clouds currently is changing slightly and they kind of going back so we modify with offset so they kind of bouncing but again this is just for offset of the numbers if we want it we can go inside and just attach to anything to the scale mess the repeat or repeated value and go from same way attach um you can add a multiple smooth mapping instead normal map you can add additional values to control it then but overall so but overall here's the techniques when you using the dynamic node and you're using snapshot of first state of the um your function before and you're using blender that control it through the time and map to switch between those two states so it doesn't matter how this one is connected you still um controlling and your blender in your map which allowed you to switch where you want to have it your point where you want to kind of uh, fade or merge with other ones you can use a different type of the um combiner mode and just see which each of them they give it blender give you the more smoother kind of transition between two of those nodes thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com